Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to your bonus love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please do note, it is a general message. Take what resonates, leave behind what does not. It's free to check your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for you or your counterpart. If you're unsure or unaware of what your Moon, Rising, Venus signs are, there is a link in the description box to a free native calculator that can help you suss out that information. As always, all important information for me can be found in the description box below this video. As of right now, I am no longer booking uh, personal readings until the beginning of September. It's closed out at max capacity for the rest of August. All right, so my beautiful Aquarius subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for all your support, your likes, your shares your views as always you guys are wonderful if you are new to the channel welcome hope you will consider joining us and last but not least be sure to smash that like button so this video gets out to everyone that needs to see it all right so we're going to start with one spirit guide message look at some romance angels take a look at your heart space aquarius and jump into your reading all right so we've got intuitive nudges coming through for you aquarius at the bottom of the deck we have be proud so this tells me take a minute here and focus on the be proud um, you guys have achieved a lot of things whether big or small and spirit and the guides and the universe wants you to take a moment and to appreciate uh, and acknowledge your achievements no matter how big or small they were um, they are acknowledging them and they want you to acknowledge them as well all right so intuitive nudges you guys are receiving um, intuitive downloads and you know poking and prodding from your spiritual team in the universe pointing you in a direction and they want to make sure that you are listening and tuning in to your intuition at this time so intuition is the language of the soul we are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing intuition is one of the greatest gifts we can possess which keep us connected to our higher selves the universe and the divine spirit so pay attention, do not ignore um, those wonderful downloads and nudges that you're getting. Um, they're definitely going to lead you exactly where you're meant to go at this time. All right, so let's go ahead and take the internal temperature from the romance department and see what's going on, what things we are facing, situations, um, new energies, what's going on here for my beautiful Aquarius, please, in the area of love and romance. Please show me clearly precisely accurately what's your best messages of advice and guidance for Aquarius when it comes to love and romance okay we've got chemistry really jumping out so there's a magnetic attraction here somebody if a group of you are definitely feeling um, the energy of someone else all right so we've got getting to know each other as your as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens um, so this is indicating to me that some of you are already in a connection or already know somebody. Um, but as you guys go a little bit deeper, that bond that you already share, that, that, that push and pull is the energy that I'm getting, um, actually, you know, further deepens and uh, electrifies. And we also have give your, your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. So I mean, if some of you are thinking about maybe walking away, Obviously, you know what's best for you if you're in an uncomfortable situation or something that you know is toxic and not healthy. Absolutely walk away. But if this is just a, you know, maybe I'm scared to give it a try kind of thing. They're, they're, they're pushing you um, not to to pull back your energy just yet to kind of keep working working on things. I'm also getting waiting on things. I'm, getting, I'm supposed to do this one more time, guys. Sorry. They are insisting. What do we have? Okay. And that's why we have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past to experience more love in your present moment. And I feel like this is connected to this, um, you know, being kind of held back, being afraid. It's kind of releasing that, um, working on it, healing it with this person and being able to kind of push through maybe your fear. Um, or their fear and, 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 and solidifying this relationship because you're being told it's absolutely safe to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and that you have been calling in your soulmate uh, your prayers have 
visualizations, affirmations help bring you um, together. So beautiful, beautiful energies, beautiful messages. I love absolutely every single one of these. I'm going to put them together over here. And then we're going to take a look at Aquarius's heart space. All right, Aquarius. So when I do the heart space, it doesn't have to necessarily be a, about a specific person. It can be. If it resonates for you that way, please apply it that way. Otherwise, this is kind of just a general look at your heart space at this time, how you're feeling towards love in general. Are you open? Are you receptive? Are you closed off? Is there blockages? Uh, are you dealing with ego and shadow and karma? Those kind of energies that can really muck up a situation or encourage it. So let's see what's going on in my beautiful Aquarius heart space at this time. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, please show me Aquarius' heart space. How are they feeling towards love at this time in general? Please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance. These two are not part of the part of that space. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so apprehensive is at the bottom of the deck, guarded, cautious, afraid. And I was feeling that. Um, you know, you got this in new attitude and nudges, you guys got this magnetic energy around you that's intensifying. You got this unbelievable chemistry, and I can feel that that can be a little bit overwhelming, either for you, Aquarius, on the part of your person. Um, I do feel like this guarded energy, um, being cautious, being afraid to kind of take that initial leap. Um, you guys got a lot going on here. Okay, so we got masculine energy coming through. So some of you may be in the divine masculine energy. Remember, we all have feminine masculine within us. Some of you may be a masculine here, or this could be, you know, you're really focused on your masculine or taking action towards love at this time. Um, this is an energy of going to get what you want and conquering it. Um, I love this energy for you guys. In fact, I really only see kind of one um, that's not even negative. It's just kind of holding on, obsessing, watching. So what I'm getting here, um, oh, I just got a culture. Somebody may have, um, may be sitting in the dark, kind of watching um, from a distance. I'm getting through like social media, I'm seeing like a computer screen, a laptop kind of lit up in the background. Thunder just rolls, so thunder rolls. Um, the kind of energy where they're just like um, keeping an eye on their person. Now this could be you, Aquarius, or your person, but just kind of keeping an eye at a distance, kind of obsessing and watching, but not communicating what you're feeling at this time. Or vice versa, this could be them showing up in your heart space, but this is your heart space, so I feel like this is you. Um, that's not going to apply to all of you, of course. But let's get to the beautiful energies that I've absolutely loved. So we've got vows here. Commitment, promises, fidelity. This is, you know, a beautiful energy. Some of you may be in a commitment or solidifying a commitment, maybe getting engaged, getting married. Um, this is definitely wanting to commit um, to a, a single person. We've got mirror showing up here, which is sh reflections, shared feelings, you. So this is absolutely you know, what's it being going on inside of you is also going on inside of your person. This is a twin flame energy. This is my twin flame card. This is an indication of twin flames. Now, now all of you are on that twin flame journey and that is perfectly fine. Um, for those of you are, this will be resonating with you. Um, this is kind of like a acknowledgement that this is your twin and they're feeling exactly what you are feeling in this very moment. I'm, which can be, I'm getting a little bit of an uncertainty. There is a, a sense of, again, there's loss, unspoken, lost words, disappointment, regrets. Um, that is easily applied to many different situations. Um, but the biggest thing that I'm getting is, is, is the word unspoken. So I feel like there's unspoken emotions, unspoken um, decorations of love, as well as unspoken emotions happening here. A lack of communication. Uh, but somebody, Aquarius, you find them very beautiful, very uh alluring very attractive in every single way this that you this you look at them as this gentle uh beautiful creature now again this could be from the masculine's point of view um but i'm looking at this more as you know the the frat okay thank you spirit 
this looking at the the view of somebody being fragile and um, wanting to you know and delicate and wanting to care for them you see them as this um, very important aspect of your life this this the energy that I'm getting is absolutely like more valuable that's the word I was looking that was there it was more valuable than a ruby a diamond a pearl or all the money in the world this you have somebody in your mind and in your heart um, that you view this way some of you and there's a lot of you that are hoping um, to bring bring this back you're waiting for the right person the right situation um, there's a lot of expectating expectations happening here uh, as well as manifestations or trying to manifest in, hoping that this comes together, hoping that it works out, hoping that this is your person. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful energies. Uh, again, I'm not really seeing anything negative, just a little bit caution with this energy because it can turn toxic if not careful. Um, become unhealthy. All right, so let's go ahead now and take a look at the person that you are connecting with, Aquarius, is heart space, wishing to connect with or will be connecting with in the near future. How are they feeling in their heart space at this time? Again, this could be applied to you, Aquarius, or this could be in general for them. This can also pick up on their past relationships or current um, situations as well. All right, so there, guides, angels, ancestors of the light, please show me the person that is. Aquarius is most interested in, is in mo most connecting to, wishing to connect to, or will be connecting with in the near future. Start space, please show me clearly, precisely, accurately what, who, and what and is Aquarius connecting to at this time. What is their emotions, please? Aquarius, at the bottom of the deck, we've got lust, intensity, sexual energy, non-committal. So some of you are having problems with somebody who doesn't want to really lock it down, commit, they're kind of in and out, wanting just to have fun. Um, I'm also getting that this is an intense connection. So somebody's feeling the intensity. Um, that's that magnetic pull that I was talking about, electrifying big time. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of passion and heat. Um, that this person feels for you, Aquarius. Okay, or in general. This could be in general, because they could feel this in general. Um, they could be a very um, hyposexual person um, that has not been able to commit this far to one, one person or really you know, lock things down in a serious manner. Um, but overall, I feel like this is more about the intensity, and this person's very intense, uh, has a very intense energy. So we've got quite a lot going on here so we have deja vu past life past life karmic lessons repeated patterns so Aquarius you may be connecting with somebody who is intuitive um, they could be psychic they could be a medium as well but I'm also getting that karmic lesson kind of popping out at me so this is somebody who may be involved with a karmic partner or has some type of karmic debt that they are currently working on um, this could be somebody that you also have repeated cycles with, which means that you have gone and gone with this person around in a circle with this person more than once. Um, or they have been in that kind of karmic cycle, right? Um, they keep repeating the same patterns, needing to break, break free from it. Um, but for some of you, again, this is kind of past life connection as well. Um, we got that twin flame uh, energy going on here. We've got the chase. Preparation, relentless pursuit, and victory. Um, this is that runner-chaser dynamic. So some of you, I feel like you know exactly who this person is. Um, you guys have been doing the running, runner and the chaser. It's very common Twin Flames um, connections, but we got that going on here as well. Uh, and we have second chance. Somebody's wanting to make amends. I have a new opportunity, trying to plan a comeback here. And then we have new beginnings, which is somebody wanting a new start, a new take things in a new direction, just 
for one chance to make things right. So I feel like those are kind of the same. Some of these, this is a brand new person. I'm starting something completely new. For others of you, this is somebody who wants a second chance for a new beginning with you, Aquarius. Um, some of you guys got some um, other energy happening here. So somebody is wearing a mask here um, on the other side here. They're, they're not showing exactly their true, true selves, their true emotions, their true heart, their true intentions. I feel like they're hiding this and I think Aquarius you may be if you are not before you are definitely becoming enlightened to this becoming aware of it now um, this person energy is kind of um, with drifting all over the place now this could be somebody that you were in a connection with at one point in time um, Aquarius that is kind of slowly um, detaching and and drifting kind of further away um, I'm also getting for some of you, this is, this is somebody who is detaching from, from a, a situation where they've had to hide their, their unhappiness. Um, so I would, again, this can pick up on the, and, you know, the person coming towards you, current situation or, you know, recent past situation. So they could have had to wear a mask to kind of really cover how they were truly feeling. If they were measurable, they kind of been just drifting in this and, and slowly like detaching and to disconnect from this person or an energy situation altogether. Uh, for others of you, you know, this is again, somebody wearing a mask, really not saying truly how they feel, kind of trying to cover it up and hide it. Maybe they think that you'll reject them or for whatever reason, um, they don't feel like they can actually expose their feelings and true self to you at this time. Um, that could very well, it's very possible. And last but not least, I do pick up on the energy of, so this is not really stagnant um, energy or somebody who's disconnected. What I get is this energy of a relationship, um, a connection cord that's just like literally drifting, swaying. There's no real movement, kind of like the winds when it's blowing it. It's neither person, you or them, has pulled back from this connection, but there's no action being taken on it either. Um, from either side all right so let's get into the tarot and see what's going on Aquarius we are going to look at you first and then we'll look at your person and the shared energy between you mm. all right spirit guides angels ancestors let's get Aquarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus please their past energy three cards for their past energy three cards for their present energy three cards for the future energy please show me clearly precisely accurately best messages gives me advice and guidance thank you yeah some of you guys this is a soulmate some of you guys this is a past person or a past connection could even be a misconnection resurfacing or somebody that you have known for a very long time we're getting i'm getting late childhood vibes all right so here we go Spirit. All right, Aquarius, here we go. You in the past. We have the Death card, Scorpio energy. We have the Page of Pentacles, and then we have the Eight of Wands. Current energy, we have the Six of Swords, Justice, Libra energy, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Future energy, we have the Knight of Swords. We have the Empress. We have the Five of Cups showing up here. All right, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck could be connecting with a fellow air sign, a Gemini or a Libra. Doesn't have to be. This could be your energy here showing up as the Queen of Swords. Like, I know what I want, and I'm going to cut off anybody that is going to get in my way of what I want. Um, so in the past, I'm seeing the Death card, the Page of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. Again, could be connecting with the Scorpio in the past. But what I feel like this is more is this transformational energy, the end of something. Um, there very well could have been a situation, Aquarius, where you thought it was completely over, that there was no life in, the, in, in a relationship or a connection, and then suddenly there was communication, um, there was um, this offer being presented to you, um, the person that you thought you know, was completely a lost, a lost cause, suddenly it steps up with communication in this offer or exposes something here or offers you something here. Now this could be again in your past uh, for some of you. This could also be 
Um, again, a Scorpio that came forward and made an offer and wanted to communicate and communicate. They wanted to move things forward with you. It's going to be asking you out on a date. It's been very quick communication for some of you. Um, but I do feel like this is something that you guys thought was pretty much over. And then suddenly there they are with this shining, you know, the, something that you saw was like a shining opportunity. And, you know, there's a lot of communication, a lot of back and forth going on. And wanting this, there was this, this, um, I'm getting like a, a propelling energy to move forward. So currently where we are at Aquarius is the Six of Swords. So this is, you know, being in a place where things were not ideal. This is a place where things were, you know, emotionally um, turbulent, not aligning. This just didn't really feel good. There was a lot of karmic lessons and lessons that were learned during this time frame. A lot of um, difficulties and a lot of hardships is what I'm getting. So with the Six of Swords, and that's going to mean so much to so many of you. It's going to be different. Um, so, you know, somebody may have been, you know, facing financial issues. Somebody could have been getting divorced. Somebody could have health issues. So it's going to be different for all of you. But what I'm seeing most of all that's in common is is moving away from that area like moving away from what no longer really felt authentic for you and moving towards where you're supposed to go where you know moving towards calmer or calmer waters calmer situations moving into an alignment with your soul's purpose moving into where you were always meant to be in the first place so justice is in the center of your reading here which tells me this is about making a fair and balanced choice so Aquarius I feel like right now you're kind of weighing the options of something trying to figure out what is the best not just for you but for everybody involved the Hierophant is here again this that was Libra energy this is moving into Taurus energy and so with the Hierophant you know some of you could be considering stepping into a leadership role at work or taking more of a leadership, you know, um, actions with, within your life. Um, some of you may be going back to school or just recently started back to school. But overall, what I am getting and feeling the most here is you know, when it comes to this weighing of these options, I feel like there's a heavy emphasis on, you know, your your values and specifically your family values or how, how your, the values that your family have taught you. So there is a very heavy emphasis on on this as you're weighing whatever option this is for you now for some of you i'm going to say that this could be some of you could be weighing out you, you know the the options of maybe an engagement or a proposal or a relationship offer that was made to you for a higher level of commitment this could be you know weighing out whether or not you wanted to you know go com commit to this person Move in with this person, get engaged to this person, get married to this person, have children with this person. Now, I do feel that there there is some of you that are in that exact exact position at this moment. And last but not least, I cannot ignore the fact that some of you, especially when we've got the twin flame and soulmates and you know all that energy happening, that um, you know you're spiritually being guided right now. You're being led instead of being the leader. Your spiritual guides are leading you. And um, they're helping you find the balance within you to move in the direction that you were so you're supposed to be going. So, right, I see for Aquarius, where that's who is re resonating with that is that you're moving, you're transitioning. Some of you are ascending and awakening um, at this very moment. So, moving into the future energy, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Empress, and we have the Five of Cups. And I'm going to go ahead and get. A clarifier why is the five of cups here why is the five of cups here Ooh, we got massive thunder happening okay king of cups so there's some okay so yes okay so this I love that okay so Aquarius in the future the knight of swords I feel like this is where the decision has been made and what there's no like there's no pause delay anymore this in the future this is a fast forward fast moving, very quick, very snappy kind of energy. This is rushing in, um, stating your piece, making, stating your claim, saying what you gotta say, 
Um, and I feel like a lot of you are moving towards your, your empress. This could be your emperor for some of you. Remember, masculine, feminine energy. Don't get them, don't get them entangled um, here. Um, you know, this is just like staking that claim, wanting to create and cultivate that new beginning that we've been hoping and trying to manifest for, that, you know, that we've seen the new beginning. Um, it's really moving into that, right? Um, claiming all that is yours. Um, but not forcing it. This kind of, like, going with the flow of where you were always supposed to go is what I'm actually getting. And so what I'm loving about, about this last energy, because when I seen the Five of Cups, I was like, why, you know, why are, with all this stuff, why is there such sadness and regret? So it's like looking at the past, and the Five of Cups about looking backwards, and being upset and sad and regretful for how things ended, how things went, for your actions, things that you wish you could have changed. It's really being focused on that and not seeing the possibilities for growth, the potential that still exists, even for that situation that you're mooning over or upset over or thinking about. Um, and with with the clarifiers, we've got the King of Cups. So some of you could be connecting to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in this aspect. But I feel like this is and the acknowledgement, okay, that there is this wave, this ocean of emotions for this person, for the situation. This unconditional, unbridled, um, unforgettable, deep well of, of love. Now, again, if you're just meeting this person, um, you're gonna you're gonna feel that. And it could trigger something that, you know, from your past that's gonna make you a little uncomfortable. But the greatest thing of all is this again is being guided by um, your forces, your angels, your your loved ones, your ancestors, the universe, the divine source, whatever you believe in this is being um, guided from behind the scenes. There's a sense of healing, um, you know, what hurt, feeling the past, um, bringing really into full uh, alignment to where you were supposed to always be in full balance. It's a completion of heart cycles of toxicity and deceptions and lies and self-trickery and having victory over that. I see reconciliation and I see destiny coming back in and there's that emperor and there's the pentacles telling you that things are going to equal out and um, balance out to where they were always supposed to be between you and this particular other person. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and take a gander at your person and see, you know, what's going on with them. So let's start with the past energy. Three cards for the past energy for the person that Aquarius is connecting to, wishing to connect to, or will be connecting with. In the near future, three cards for their present en energy, and three cards for their future energy. Please, please show me clearly, precisely, accurately. Best messages, advice, and guidance. And I don't know whether or not that thunder is showing up or going to be showing up on the video, but it is wild. Absolutely wild out there. All right, so what do we have for Aquarius's person? Please show me clearly precisely accurately let's slide these over a little bit to leave room for this the connection itself all right so what do we have for aquarius person in the past we have the hermit could be connecting with a virgo we have the seven of swords and we have the knight of cups current energy we have the two of pentacles the two of wands and the five of pentacles okay all right, so in the future energy, we've got the Ten of Cups coming through, the Seven of Wands with the Judgment card. Wow, all right, so, and we have the Six of Cups, so this is that soulmate uh, past energy showing up very brightly. All right, so Aquarius with the Hermit, the Seven of Swords, and the Knight of Cups, what I'm getting and what I'm feeling the most here, again, you could be connecting with, I'm just getting just getting Virgo as a, a showing up from the cards for those that follow that but I feel like this person took a time out they took a step back they withdrew their energy some of them may have went into hermit status you may they may have completely disappeared off of radar um, there was like this internal guidance happening um, there's seven of swords so I feel I feel like when they withdrew there was a sense of just dis, of distrust right like the sneakiest, like they were trying to get away with something. And maybe that's why they had to um, withdraw. Maybe they weren't in their most authentic place at this point. Um, they could have also been dealing with some very harsh and very manipulative energies around them. But I do get they, they withdrew. They kind of went within. There could, there's also a sense of self-sabotage. 
With the Knight of Cups, I do feel like they either did express at one point their emotions, their feelings, or there was a one to make this grand gesture, this big moment, you know, this big ta-da, as expressing how they felt. Currently, they're at the Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands. So, this is, they have, when I see these, I don't see the Two of Swords, which is crossroads. I mean, some of them could still be trying to make their decision, but I I feel like this, you know, I've seen the Five of Pentacles, you know, this speaks of loss. Um, you know, feelings of rejection, being left out in the cold, tossed, tossed aside, left alone. Um, it's, you know, not a really great energy. Um, this is kind of depletion. Um, and with the Two of Pentacles, Two of Wands, I feel like this majority, they've already made their decision. They've chosen the path that they wanted to take. Um, they're t they're, this is somebody who's tired of being um, left out in the cold. They're ready to come back in. They're ready to stake their claim. They're just trying to find their footing on how to do this with the Two of Pentacles. They've made that decision. They've made that choice. They haven't yet, I don't think, took their first step here because um, they're trying to figure out how to find the right balance for that. Um, but I feel like this is somebody who's on the verge of taking that next step. So future energy coming into this is the Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands, and Judgment. I love this energy. So they're overcoming obstacles and challenges that stood in their way. They're facing final judgment and making decisions on what to release, what to heal, and what to move forward. And they're going to be moving forward into the Ten of Cups. Emotional bliss, happiness, and fulfillment. This is that happily ever after card. So this is a definitely a, a beautiful energy to move into. Alright, so let's take a look at the energy of the connection between the two of you. The shared energy. Alright, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, let's look at the shared energy between Aquarius and their person, please. Past, present, and future energy. Past, present, and future energy. And their person. Alright. Past energy, page of cups, expressions, apologies, and uh, messages, communication about feelings and love. Currently, the energy between you is the full. There's a new opportunity. It requires a leap of faith. Future energy is the high priestess. All right. So things that were hidden, things that were unknown, coming into light. There could be a need for communication. And this can also indicate that the energy, the, how things are going to happen, turn out here, has yet to be shown or determined. Um, I'm getting a veil. I'm getting, When I get, the, get a veil or get a curtain, this is telling me that there's something that the university is not ready yet to divulge about the situation. All right, so I'm going to, therefore, because they're not going to show me anyway, skip outcome card and move into the Zodiac card. So Aquarius, when it comes to Zodiac cards, it's simple like this. If this reading to this point, parts of it or all of it has resonated with you, then it's your reading regardless of whether or not the Zodiac sign of the person that you're connecting with, wishing to connect with, or are, are connected with, or will be connecting with in the near future, I'm stumbling over words here, um, shows up. It just means for those that, that has shown up that they needed extra confirmation that this reading was indeed meant for them as well. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at the energies that are most showing up. And Aquarius is energetic field at this time. Most connecting with Aquarius. Thank you. So we've got Scorpio. We have Aquarius. We may be connecting with a fellow Aquarius. We have Pisces. We have Gemini. Wow. 
We have Capricorn and we have Leo. So if you are connecting with a Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Leo, another Aquarius, or a Gemini, take this as a sign of synchronicity. Not this reading had an extra special message or was definitely meant for you. All right, my beautiful Aquarius, thank you for tuning in. That is all the messages that I have that are coming through at this time. Be sure to smash that like button. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. We would love to have you part of the Casarian Soul family. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Please remember to live in light and love. Namaste. Bye for now.